guys welcome back to my channel and to a new vlog um i'm just getting ready this morning i actually wasn't planning on vlogging today it's a sunday and tom has just left for cricket we've just been for a nice long walk taking the dog we've got a little routine that we like to do every sunday before tom plays cricket and we go for a yummy pastry um at a local bakery that we love and go for a nice walk and then yeah tom sets off for cricket i usually have a bit of a chilled sunday sometimes i work sometimes i shop <laughs> more often than not um and yeah today i uh thought i would just i don't know i was in the vlogging mood i was in a chatty mood and i thought i would take that opportunity and film so yes i'm just getting ready for the day and i'm going to go to mns i've just done a bit i should have filmed it really but like i said i wasn't planning on vlogging but um i've just done a bit of a wardrobe wardrobe not wardrobe clear out freezer clear out and fridge as well and just got rid of anything that was kind of out of date old stuff that just needed going cleared up a bit of space and um I'm gonna go do a bit of a food shop. So we all love a little trip to M&S. The reason why I wanted to go to M&S was I've been seeing loads of TikToks of people. It just must be feeding me the algorithms to go, but loads of TikToks of people showing their M&S like hauls and what they've been buying and loads of new snacks that they're getting in. And also, not only like snacks and yummy treats, but also um, their actual food. I find I am not very good at being, um, what's the word? I'm, I'm very, I, I sway easily towards midweek just popping to Gales or just popping out to a cafe. And I would like to get more into the habit of eating at home a bit more. And whenever I find if I do a bit of an M&S trip, I get some like nice yummy salads that will last throughout the week and some like, I don't know, salmon, um, rice bowls, salads, like they're kind of like pre-made stuff that are really yummy because like, I'm not a salad eater at all. I just don't like them. But M&S ones, they have quite good varieties and ones that last for a good, I would say four days. So to be able to buy them for lasting me for the week for like midweek lunches and yeah not like a massive shop because let's face it it's m and i don't want to be doing a huge shop there because it's expensive but yeah i thought i would go and if i treat myself to some nice yummy salads then it's going to help keep me on track this week for having nice healthier options for lunch um I think what it is with me is that I'm a lazy cook. I don't enjoy the process of cooking like Tom does, for instance. But obviously, during the day, most days, he's out at work. Um, and I'm working from home or here, there and everywhere. And um, Or like if he has a, a, I don't know, dinner out with work, friends or something. And if I end up cooking for myself, like I said, I'm a convenience cooker, which is not the best because it ends up just being either delivery or, um, or yeah, not, not so much ready meals. I don't buy ready meals anymore, but I tend to get suckered into a delivery offer or something like that. And it's different when we're on something like a HelloFresh because I'm cooking for the two of us, but it's when I'm cooking for myself, I just never do it. So I thought if I have some M&S options, then... I have no excuse because I'm not spending money on M&S food and not eating it. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm heading this morning for a little bit of a shopping venture. And I also, when I was um, having a fridge clear out, fridge freezer clear out, I put on a wash load before doing that. So I need to take that out. And I realized I am all out, well, virtually all out of fabric conditioner so i need to pop to maybe b m we could do a little b m trip as well i'll actually vlog in store in b m because i think they might have some of like their autumn and even christmas bits out in their aisles so we'll head there i'll vlog there and then when i get home i'll show you um a bit of a m s food haul of what i pick up 
as well as little mini B&M hauls. Well, I say mini, but we all know that we all go into B&M for one thing and come out with a, an entire trolley full of stuff. I already have a, another uh, backup of this Charlotte Tilbury pencil. It's a lip liner in Iconic Nude. I actually need to just sharpen it a bit. This, I need to get a new sharpener. This lid pops off and all the little sharpener bits end up in my makeup bag and make my makeup filthy. But yeah, I am on the dregs of this lip liner. And like I said, I do have another one already. It is in my makeup. Here we go, Iconic Nude. I do already have another one, but I always think it's a waste if I get rid of that, right? I'm like clinging on to the last bits. It's getting harder to use though because I can't hold it as easily. But yeah, iconic nude lip liner with a bit of, I'll put a little bit of lip gloss on. We'll go in with the Kiko one that I'm loving. Where is it? This one. In shade number four. This is their 3D Hydra lip gloss. It's a nice shimmery kind of corally colour. There we go. Bit of makeup setting spray. I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one because I love Charlotte Tilbury as a brand. All of her products that I've had in the past, I love. And I hear such good things about their uh, fixing makeup setting spray. But again, I'm just the sort of creature of when I've got plenty left over of another one, I don't want to repurchase an, a new one. Do you know what I mean? But although I have seen people are layering the Charlotte Tilbury with another setting spray because the Charlotte Tilbury one helps everything kind of work together like merge together and then you fix it with something else afterwards so maybe we'll try it maybe we'll treat myself not today maybe for another day anyway let's head to the shops I hope you enjoy spending the the day with me and if you haven't already get comfy relax and grab a drink like the candles I feel like we're well into candle season now and uh yeah I hope you enjoy spending the day with me so I'm just having a look at some of that home decor they seem to have this range in called the autumn like woodland charm They've got this little autumn candle display. They've got some of these um, rediffusers. Autumn fruit pie, that sounds amazing. This one though, apple pie, even with the little recipe on there. They match the candles that they do. I remember them bringing these out last year. They're kind of like the ones that you get at TK Maxx, but obviously these are only five pounds. And yeah, they've got all of the matching scents. They've got these cute little um, trinket dishes, these uh, autumn leaves candles for £4, this little tea light holder for two fifty. it's a reed diffuser for £5 and then I love these, these are only £3 and for a nice little autumn tablescape I think they are so cute. They've also got this natural earth range where they've got quite a few different things. These little candles, um, these vases. Actually, these are quite textured. I love them. These are cute little uh, like travel cases for jewellery and like a kind of bouquet fabric. Let's see what else is new. This little woodland fallen chestnuts from the Woodland Charm range, this little reed diffuser with the wooden toadstool lid. Um, these cute little houses, more like Christmassy houses, I would say, and they have got all of the Christmas chocolates out. Can you believe it? They have a couple of new wreaths this year. This one's quite festive though, I would say, rather than um, autumnal, but it has got the little acorns, the cotton, the little pine cones. I think it's the pine cones that make it more festive. And then they've got this more orangey toned one. Just spotted these little crystal coasters. I'm not a fan of the blue, but very much like the anthropology ones that they do, but only 250. We've got some new basket designs. I really like the finish of that one, but obviously it's got the little face and the ears on, so more suited to like a kid's room. Um, but then they've also got these, which I've never seen. They scalloped edged baskets at 10 pounds, or just the 
black stripe at 12. I have shown these before, but Joe Malone scented dupe, the Marin Tonka. They've also got these, which I've uh, not seen before and would make a lovely little gift set for five pounds. They spotted these Stanley dupes, um, but this one is, because usually when I see Stanley dupes, they're in like really bright colors or something, but this one was six pound, now four pound 50 and is very, very similar to the color that I've got. I've seen these online and although I love the idea of them and the look of them, the color and everything, practically speaking, this is just something that's gonna take up space in my cupboards that I probably don't need to be taking space up with. But concept is you pop it around your tumbler and you've got little snack compartments. So it's quite cute. And this guys is why I start shopping autumn so early because Christmas aisles are already here. <gasps> this is crazy guys, but look. Oh, I really don't want to start buying Christmas stuff. I just want to love autumn and I mean summer's barely over yet, so oh, but I do love that. I will show you this because although this is in the kind of Christmas gifting section, definitely could just buy it anytime. Um, but they've got these new little journals in. So there's a wellness journal for £3. Really nice colours as well. Just like a muted green. And, and then the self-care journal. Track your wellness day by day. I think it's similar. Yeah, it's the same inside. It's just the cover's different and the colour. But how nice are they? How on earth are they allowed to sell these? This is, again, still kind of like leading on from the Christmas section. Which is crazy, I know. Um, but yeah, these porter and versace porter <laughs> how are they getting away with this i can see why brands do this but b m furbury that's ridiculous look at these guys poochie vuitton <gasps> that is so funny they've even got little uh ch terry's chocolate orange toys as well dog toys how hilarious are they? They have the most gorgeous olive trees. These huge 35 litre, 100 pounds. I wish I'd have seen these before I went to the garden center. Really like like the thickness of them. They're a lot thicker than the ones we've got. And then these smaller ones at 25. I have got one of those already, but yeah, I love the bigger ones. I've just got back home. And as you can tell, we have a couple of M&S bags. We also have some B&M bags that are ready to show you what I bought. I had to get some flowers. I saw these sunflowers in and I feel like I've not had flowers in the house in a long while. So the sunflowers, you know, just about the last of them, they smell good. So is that kind of like August to September time, isn't it, sunflowers? Anyway, um, oh, I'm desperate to try one of these. I need to prop you up somewhere so that I can show you what I've got and then pop the food bits away. But how nice do these sound? So you know how they do the cotton, no, what's it called? C cotton fluffs? C candy fluffs. <laughs> do you know why I'm saying cotton is? Because in America they call it, is it candy cotton? Cotton candy. Cotton candy flavoured grapes, is that what they call them or do they call them candy floss grapes? Anyway, and they genuinely taste like candy floss. So mango grapes, I thought we could give them a try to see if they actually have a hint of mango. There's red. They smell like mango. Wow, there's some kind of like red ones and green ones. I'll go with a kind of in-betweeny. Like that. Oh dear, you okay? Sorry about that, it was just uh, coughing up some water, you know when you drink and it goes down the wrong hole, I think that's what you just did, but it's fine. Wow, okay, so I would say they, they actually smell more mango-like than they taste. They definitely taste like grapes. Let me just try again. They're a mango texture, like right, they're quite soft. But yeah, they definitely still taste like grapes, I would say, they're not too, I, th I think the candy floss ones have more of a candy floss flavor than they have a mango flavor, but nice, nice to switch it up. 
I'm just wearing a satin skirt today, which I don't usually do, but just basic tea and a satin skirt, I thought, comfier than jeans. So, anyway, let's do a little MS run through of what we got. Some eggs. And this sounded delightful. I might have this tonight, actually, because Tom probably won't be back from cricket until late. So, pumpkin and sage tortellone. Sounds amazing. And look how fresh it is. Like, you've literally just got a few pieces. I feel like that's very kind of restaurant quality. Hopefully, it'll taste just as good. Um, apple and cinnamon crunch. This is like kind of a cereal, but granola. I kind of like it with um, a breakfast option of some yogurt which i did get in here somewhere some greek yogurt but this sprinkled on top and some fruit and then um these for the freezer they do the bacon and cheese but also mushroom and cheese i love them for again just a nice naughty kind of brunch or light lunch option i think we're having this tomorrow so i picked up a chicken in a bag the garlic and have one and then these sounded nice, bolognese arancini. These are on one of the, all of the salad and bits that I get, they're always kind of like on offer of three for 12 pounds or three for eight pounds or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I think those arancini were with these two. So some Italian pesto mozzarella, again, on a salad or just as a little picky bits. Same with these. Bell peppers with cream cheese, these are just divine. Um, I got some farfalle just to stock up our pasta, dried pasta. And what else did we get? We've got some salads. So I got this one, which is like a classic favorite of mine. Looks very healthy, tastes very good. I'm not gonna lie. The feta and the avocado in that one, just amazing. I also got this one to try. I never had this one before, I don't think. Crayfish and mango. Roasted butternut and goat's cheese. It's like a smaller portion, which I feel like is better if I'm having other bits as well. Um, juicy watermelon and feta salad, a classic. I also got some prawns, just the garlic and lemon um, and parsley ones. I got some ginger shots, although I should really get into the habit of making some because you don't get very many, do you, for the amount that I could make and put in the fridge. Um, anyway, and then I also got this. We like to have, as it gets into the cooler months, we like to do little cheese board nights. And we bought some cheeses the other day, actually, well, Tom did. And I thought this would go quite nicely when we do eventually have those, a little cheese board. It's fig and apple chutney. And just a little pot as well, which is good. So you don't open it and then have to finish it. This is the yogurt, the 0% Greek yogurt, also needed some mayo, and then I've got this for the freezer as well, just a garlic, butter and cheese flatbread. It's always handy just to have something like that in for, um, in the freezer. And then a couple of treats, I didn't go overboard because, I, well, I could have done. There were a couple of things that I wanted to try that they didn't have, but in the meantime, I need to stop buying these. <laughs> Every time I've been to m and recently, I've been buying them, and they're just, so naughty. And then these as well, I thought sounded a bit of me. Blonde fudge bites. Should we just give these a little taste? I'm afraid it's not for you, Barney. As soon as there's a rustle, he comes on over. Oh, wow, yeah, they are. Okay, that picture just looks like it's normal chocolate, but obviously, because it's blonde chocolate, this is what they actually look like. They're quite light. Mmm. Mmm. Okay really good so you've got the fudge then a layer of milk chocolate then a layer of blonde chocolate wow I need to hide them from your dad you put them at the back of the tree cupboard
sunflowers in the background there. Um, anyway, time to sit down and show you the B&M bits, which I ended up getting quite a few things. Like I said, I did predict it, so. The main reason why I went in was for uh, some liquid, some laundry liquid. In fact, that's just reminded me I need to take out that wash and re in another one. Um, but also was for these storage jars that I love, that I find the B&M ones are my like preferred of all of the kind of like bargain homeware um, places that do these jars. I just really like the dark wooded lid and it's quite airtight, it is really good. So um, I have a whole mismatch of them, but I did pick up a few more of the small ones at three pounds see how they're slightly different i really like that so they're not too perfect and then they do these larger ones at six pounds just for a little size comparison you can see the difference there hold on <coughs> bless me <laughs> i need to do oh i did get a third okay so i've got three of each i need to do a bit of a pantry restock and decant some bits that i've already got in there that need to go into those jars anyway i also got a pack of well three packs actually of these mini popcorn boxes of which you get eight in a pack so i have i'll show you in a second we've got a screen that we put up last night in the garden to use our outdoor garden projector with, which we have been loving by the way. The only thing, and semi like negative that we have with it, is that, well firstly the screen, we might be getting a different screen. I don't, the actual projector itself, you can only really use it once it's dark. So, I don't know, we envisioned having a garden projector that we could use for, even for like, say football's on and Tom wants to have some mates over to watch the game but you're not going to be able to do that you're only going to be able to watch like movies in the evening or last night we just put on the office us which we've started i'm still guys i'm still with the uk office that's my where my heart is i uh, just love ricky drace and love him in like extras but the us one a lot of you have been telling me to stick with it because it does it is funny and it, it is funny i mean we were laughing but it is very kind of like similar we're so used to the uk one that I think that's where we're struggling, but it is funny. Anyway, so we're watching that in the garden last night. Um, so really good for like movie nights. And I just thought if ever we have, especially even in winter, because it gets dark early, doesn't it? So we could put on movie night, we could have dinner out there, we could have some friends over. And I thought these little mini popcorn boxes would be perfect for that. So these were a pound for a pack of eight. So yeah, I've got a few to be able to stop the the cupboard with those. And then, oh, I forgot my got got some more treats this bowl over here that, oh you can't see it there we go this bowl here we have usually um all like the christmas chocolates in over christmas and honestly the christmas chocolates the eclairs let's just say lasted a long while <laughs> no one likes the eclairs well at least in this household so finally um finished those and that bowl's been empty so i thought i could restock it with some green lindor this flavor i haven't seen this flavor i well, I barely ever see this flavor so you know what being ends like with the treats they have all of like the best flavors and most unique finds pistachio and i'm not the sort of person that's like oh yeah i love pistachios but pistachio flavored lint incredible so creamy and sweet and just delicious so when I saw these, considering I very rarely see them, grab them. And I also thought in autumn time, it could be quite nice to mix these up with the orange ones. So you've got a mixture of orange and green in there. Seeing as though they're kind of like the colors for autumn. Uh, so anyway, I got those. And then also just random foodie bits that I saw and thought, oh, I'll try those, pop them in the cupboard. Barbecue flavored beans, cheesy beans. Got some Nutella from the cupboard. Reason why I got this was the other night when we had uh, Tom's nieces over and we made homemade pizzas. We thought, oh, it'd be good to have a sweet one at the end with Nutella. And I looked in the cupboard and we didn't have any. So we did a different sweet one, but I thought I'm gonna get one so that next time we've got we've got that covered. Oh, new scent from Zaflora. 
Love it when they bring out a new scent, can't resist. Escape with a blend of Caribbean grapefruit and lime with fruity base notes of peach and mango. So very summery. But I thought this could be nice to, to start using now for the next couple of weeks. I mean, I get through this. I know Zephora, you can dilute it and use it for ages, but I always like to throw this in the sink with loads of hot water every day to make the house smell nice. Not every day. Wow. That is very summery, zesty. It kind of reminds me of the mandarin and lime one that they do. That's lovely. Really nice. Not floral at all, which you guys know I'm not really a fan of the floral. Very, very fruity, that one. Speaking of fruitiness, Vermouche washing machine cleaner. I like to do these every sort of couple of months. And this one is the Dissolves Hair. In fact, I use the pet hair dissolver whenever I do his bedding and towels and stuff. But yeah, they do a pink grapefruit. I don't usually think, do, is it usually lemon or do they just normally not have a scent? I'm not sure. But as soon as I saw the pink grapefruit one, I thought, oh, get that to try for next time I need to do a washing machine clean. I also always like to have a plug hole unblocker in stock so that if ever I need to unblock, say, the shower or whatever, I don't have to run out to the shop and do it. I'm sorted. Got um, some more of these food prep meal bowls that Tom likes to use for meal prep and excess leftovers and stuff. Oh, I've just seen, I've got some more treats in here. I've gone overboard on the treats today, okay? We're just restocking the cupboard. When I saw these crunch bars, we love crunch chocolate, but don't have it very often. They do a peanut butter flavored one as well, but I just went with the milk chocolate. And then, oh yeah, this sounded lovely. So I love a Nescafe instant coffee as just a bit of a afternoon sweet treat. They're not like heavy caffeine either. I always find I'm okay with drinking these. So green triangle flavored mocha. I love a mocha anyway, but the green triangle flavor, I'm assuming it's gonna be just like a, I was gonna say minty, but it's actually not. The green triangle is my favorite quality street. Let me know which is your favorite quality street. That one and the orange crisp, not the orange cream, the orange crisp in the hexagonal shape. Those two are without a shadow of a doubt, the two that I get through first. So yeah, green triangle flavored mocha. Sounds amazing. And then I also saw this, again, like random finds within the food and drink section, but Horlicks I love anyway. Who knew Horlicks did these little sweets that you can just throw in your car or whatever. Deliciously malty, irresistibly chewy. Okay, they're chewy tablet sweets, they're called. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I think I'll throw those in my car. I like to have some sweets in my little um, middle section in the car. Also got some Starbucks pod for our Nespresso machine. Yeah, there we go, they're vanilla flavored ones. And then I got again, what I needed to get the, this one's probably my favorite one, the Fairy Outdoorables. Outdoorable ones are my favorite ones. And then, so yeah, I picked up another Outdoorable ones. This one's slightly smaller, but it's the, uh, what's it called? Orange Blossom and Coastal Cypress scent. Uh, which is lovely. Was it one of the Mrs. Hinch? Yeah, Mrs. Hinch's VK Vibes edition. Oh, it's so nice. Do I prefer the fairy one? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, I do. I think it's just because it's my scent. It's what I always use. The sun's come out as well, so I think we might be able to use the screen tonight as well. So sorry if it's a bit windy out here, but We've just covered the sofa last night just in case if it was going to rain or anything, but it didn't. But yeah, as you can see, there is this screen. So we put the projector on the table and project it onto the screen, sit on the sofa with loads of cozy blankets. Little pooch, Mr. Man. I'm going to repot those olive trees this week, I think, because they need to, I think they need actually taking out those pots and um, popping some fresh soil in. Yeah, that's our little screen. I think it's a 120 inch. I've seen that they do these more inflatable ones, as you can tell with the legs at the bottom. I don't know if you can there, but it's not the most sturdy and there's a huge crease down the middle of the screen, which is really annoying. So yeah, we might send that one back and get what I've seen, like this big inflatable one that you can get, which packs away really, really small. Um, not that that doesn't pack away as small, but it's, it's the crease down the middle. If we can get that out, but I don't know how. Are we allowed to iron it? I have to check the reviews. He's just enjoying a nice little sunbathe. Whoa. 
Oh, really zoomed in there. Oh, I do love having fresh flowers in the kitchen. It just makes, I don't know, it just gives life to the kitchen. you're gonna be able to hear me because it's a little bit windy but I'm just sat outside in the garden and I'm just doing some planning for the week which is what I always like to do on a Sunday I just like to know everything that's coming up this week um, any kind of like appointments meetings seeing friends calls anything I kind of just jot it all down so I know exactly what's coming up and then a bit of a to-do list as well like if I need to buy anything for the house or um, need to film something for content whatever it is it's on my weekly to-do list and I'm also just going to have another chapter or two reading this since coming back from holiday I've not reached for this and it's not because I didn't enjoy it it's just because for me reading when I'm not on holiday I have to kind of force myself to get into it but then I don't know why I don't because when I'm into it I really enjoy reading so yeah anyway it's a bit blustery out here so it's probably a bit breezy on camera but I am going to close off today's vlog here hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys